That's the one and only pit bull, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> and I wanted to play that because whenever people see you, you're either on a, a – you, you're, it's always in a big way. You know, it's a, rather you're on a, a performance stage and you're performing with gigantic artists, whether it's a award show mm-hmm. and you – Got a big band type of performance. I've seen you on tour. Yes, sir. Your energy on stage is ridiculous. Thank There's certain you. people who have reached certain levels. You, Bruno Mars, Beyonce. No. It's true. I'll put Man, you in that, that category. Whole lot, dog. I'll put you that I in category. It. But it all came from somewhere. Yes, sir. I mean, for one, it's it's a true honor to be here. I okay. really appreciate it, Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Congrats for everything y'all got going on. And and um Man, uh, as far as the conversation that that we had, and yes, in 2004, 2005, and what my family comes from, it just goes to show you I'm a first generation Cuban American. My grandmother was one of the first revolutionary women that fought with Castro. Figured out that wasn't the way to go. Mm-hmm. Um, smuggled my my mother out through an operation called Peter Pan. Mm-hmm. My aunt political prisoner. My father brought boats over in the Mario boat lift. My father moved certain products. I just move a different product now. It's called music, but yet the same hustle. Uh-huh. What uh, kind of products did he move? Hey, well, you know, extracurricular activities, like I told you oh, back then. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I've seen it became a snitch since then. I don't know. No, no, okay. no. Okay. All right, okay, cool. No, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, just, just uh, it's funny because now I'm involved in speaking engagements with like yeah. Tony Robbins mm-hmm. and Susie Orman. And, uh, I'm, actually, I was just with Magic Johnson, Sylvester Stallone on stage, and they asked me about entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. And I said, man, it's funny because I was a JIT, a JIT meaning a little kid. Um, I seen entrepreneurship firsthand, and that was with those kind of guys, mm-hmm. you know, taking nothing and making something. A lot of them didn't understand it. You know, it comes quickly or quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you understand the slow, but for sure. But it, it trained me, molded me to understand the music game. Because okay. the music game does have a form of dope, and that form of dope is called fame. Mm-hmm. And a lot of folks, I've seen them come up, mm-hmm. and it, it came quick and left quicker mm-hmm. as far as in the game. So I've been very, very blessed. And we were talking about Uncle Luke earlier. Mm-hmm. Uncle Luke is definitely a blessing to me. I've learned so much from him from an independent state of mind, mm-hmm. someone that not only fought through the game, but also fought the government, won in the Supreme Court for the First Amendment. Yeah. Do you yeah. feel me? So yeah. to be able to be around that kind of revolutionary mind was amazing. And then I ran into you know, uh, Little John. Now, but you were in <laughs> Georgia at one point? In Georgia, I was. I was in a foster home, basically, yes. in Georgia. Okay. Okay. I ended up over there in a spot called Roswell, Georgia. And uh, it was about like six months I, w- I was there for that. But then as soon as my old girl heard, my mom heard, mm-hmm. <laughs> my, mom, my mom heard the word adoption. She said, what? And uh, I don't know if I can cuss on this. Yeah, go for it. I can't. Okay, well, she said, get your shit together because I'm coming to get you in two hours. So I was out and I was gone. And that was it. And that but was you, it. But you lived in foster care for a minute. Yeah, yeah. And it, and it wasn't foster care through the system. It just happened to be a family that... That felt bad for the situation we had going on, my uh-huh. mom had going on. Yeah. You know, early, my sister got pregnant early. Yeah, just just family issues at the whole thing. You know, I don't, I don't like to victimize things and nothing like that. It's just a part of the story. But yeah. she said, I'd rather you let this family take care of you than you live with me in, in, in this basement while I figure this thing out. Uh-huh. And that was it. But bottom line, when she heard the word adoption, which I couldn't even pronounce at the time, uh-huh. I was in second grade. Uh-huh. And I said, I heard him say this word. It starts with an A, mom, like adopt, adopt. adopt. She said, adopt? I said, that's the word. She said, two hours. Get your shit together. You're out of there. And that was it. That was it. I've never seen him again. <laughs> wow, man. Pitbull is here, man. And also, man, we celebrating the greatest hits album, which is out now, too. So this man has had a slew of different hits. Yeah. I, wanna, I always hey, like man, to do a little... Very blessed. Thank God, man. Thanks to the fans, too. Without them, there's no Pitbull. The and day. you got humongous fans. Uh, you got a great fan base. They they watched you evolve through, yes, through the course of your career and stuck with you, and you just get more and more fans. How did you meet Little John? So Jizzle, I met Little John. Crazy enough, I was uh, on on South Beach at the time pushing mixtapes. Okay. Okay. And while I was pushing the mixtapes, I'm coming out of this spot. Anybody that's been to, to the beach or on the strip is called Ocean Drive. There's a spot called Wet Willies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Famous, and, man. And, Everybody yeah. know Wet Yeah, Willies. Wet Willies yeah, is on, you either have a great story or a really bad one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know? Uh-huh. Either or it's a story. <laughs> okay. So I'm walking out of Wet Willies and I run in, in the John. He's running with an old school uh, guy who used to make bass records, mm-hmm. uh, Danny D. And Danny introduced me to him, and, and John's like, <laughs> funny thing is, because, you know, Atlanta, they got a twang to yeah. them. It's, it, you got it. It's almost like when you're speaking to somebody Jamaican. Yeah. You know, they got patois. It yeah. takes you a little bit to catch what they're saying. Yeah. So John's like, oh, shawty, yeah, I heard shawty before. Yeah, 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 you be snapping, shawty. I'm going, what the fuck is he saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm trying to figure him out. Yeah. So 
And I was like, oh, man, pleasure to meet you. He had just, uh, the uh, the record that started to go for him at that point was I Don't Give a Fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's starting to go. He's starting. To, and I'm like, hey, man, congratulations on everything you got going on. He said, man, you snapping, shawty. I don't know what you. So what he told me, he said, I don't know what you say in Spanish, but you be riding that beat, shot it. And uh-huh. da, 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 da. I said, oh, man, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. He said, matter of fact, I'm finishing up this album, Kings of Crunk. Yeah. You could come to the studio tomorrow. Uh-huh. Mind you, we all been in the game. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going, yeah, all right. This motherfucker's talking shit right uh-huh. now. Ain't no way. Sure enough, come the next day, jump on the album. He told me, you like that beat right there? I jump on the beat. And it's and he, it wasn't even a full record. He just yeah. liked the verse I did. And uh-huh. he called it Pitbull's Cuban Ride Out. Track 18. So track 18 has always been huge for me. Uh-huh. And that's why I say, like, um, I'm back at the Chico from track 18 on the Kings of Crunk. I yeah. get anything. Just let me know exactly how many things you want. Catch us in the club with the cups up, screaming, we don't give a fuck. And my nigga, you don't want none, because truly, we don't give a fuck. Uh-huh. Little John done put me on the uh, remix. And y'all thought, you know, it, it, it was some sweet shit, right? Yeah. So while John gives me the track 18... It changed my whole life. Mm. Track 18 wow. changed my whole life. So anything I speak about is track 18. Track uh, 18. You feel wow. me? Yeah. And it was just because John was real and said, tomorrow, meet me at the studio, and I got you. What I did, I followed up. Yeah. That mm-hmm. was the opportunity in my life. And that's basically how me and John got together. Wow. Pitbull, ladies you know and gentlemen. <laughs> Pitbull. I, I want to ask you, too, um, because, you know, I, I, so you, you're, you're a philanthropist. You um, you do a lot with the uh, the SLAM program as well, right? Yes, sir. Um, I know you offered. Um, um, do you have your own private jet? Um, <laughs> you know, these kind of things I don't, I, don't, I don't particularly like to talk about, to okay. be honest with you. Okay. But have I been very blessed to be able to. Uh, invest in myself. Yes. Uh, invest in the team mm-hmm. and be able to grow wealth. Yes, I have been able to do that. Um, I, the reason that I I try to take a different approach to it okay. is because, you know, a lot of us get caught up in bragging about things we really don't got. So yeah. for me, I've, I've been around it all, literally, from from nothing to something. And what I try to do is teach folks that the best way we really help each other, it ain't just... Uh, a certain neighborhood I lived in in Miami called Wynwood, and the slogan in the neighborhood was don't talk about it, be about it. Uh So that being said is I take any wealth that's being generated and I invest it in the education. Yes. Mm. So SLAM is a school that we've had now for four years. It's sports, leadership, arts, and management is what it stands for. We took the curriculum and we flipped it where my mother always told me nobody's dumb, Mm -hmm. nobody's stupid. It's just you got to figure out how you learn. Mm -hmm. So therefore... A lot of these kids that get no opportunities, including myself, you know, I went to like 25 schools growing up mm-hmm. in different areas, different neighborhoods. And, and the system, I wouldn't say failed me, but it wasn't built to help me. Mm-hmm. You know, let's just let's call it what it is. Mm-hmm. Call it spade a spade. So we took the curriculum and we flipped it. So what do we do is I don't know anybody that likes algebra. Be honest with you. Okay. And if you do, I might just run the other way. Okay. But I kind of liked it, but it's okay, man. We're family. Then I got to run the no, other no, way. No, no, no. Come back, come back, come back. No, no, no. <laughs> but let's just say X is the 40 yard line, Y is they got 10 seconds, and Z is they need six points. Now we flipped it with sports. Okay. So we made everything so that they can engage, be involved, mm. and education now becomes sexy to them. Yeah. So SLAM, it's our fourth year. We had our first graduating class last year. We graduated a 95 percentile. We got 1,400 kids in that school. We just built the next slam right next to it. So we'll have about 4,000 kids on that block. Yeah. Wow. We got a slam in Nevada. We got a slam in West Palm, slam in uh, Boca Raton getting built, slam in Tampa. We got one coming up in Alabama, one in the ATS. It's mm-hmm. going to be coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what else did we? Uh, San Antonio is another one that we're working on. Oh, still the Spurs, Heather. Uh, Thank you. There it is. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> one time for the Spurs. Yeah. But all I'm saying is this, man. Um, don't get me wrong. I, I, I love rapping. I love having a, a great time and telling a story. Yeah. But what I like to do is show people growth, maturity, and evolution. Yes. So a lot of people tell me, it's like, hey, Chico, how come you don't, you don't rap for the streets no more? I tell them, it's real simple, dog. I rap to get out the streets, not to stay in the streets. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. get me? Mm-hmm. And that's where... I've been very blessed to learn from a little John, been very blessed to learn from my Uncle Luke, been very blessed to learn from the Diaz brothers, where they taught me how to create my own lane. Yeah. You know, they say, why, why are you going to, even if you're in the streets, can you imagine, why would you want to push the same product everybody pushing? Now you got to fight for territory. Now you got to fight for a spot. Now you got to fight for a hole. You got to fight for a trap. You mm-hmm, feel me? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Imagine if you come up with your own product. Yeah. Nobody looking at what you're doing. You got your own hole, your own trap, your own block, your own everything. Now you create your own city. And Ooh. your own 
world. And yeah. that's basically, I've been very blessed to be able to do that and learn from people. But that's number one thing is I always listened. Yeah. When people spoke to me, I just said, man, let me take this all in. Let me take this all in. I never got caught up with, I never got caught up with the fame. I yeah. never got caught up with being in the club every night. I don't, I don't even get caught up with social media, dog. I you mean, you don't? Hell no. Okay, Look at so that. how do you right avoid there. it? Like, I don't, what I don't kind of phone is that? Yeah. Is that a Blackberry? Yeah, and if, watch out, I'm going to be on a flip phone next year. Damn. So, <laughs> is that a two way pager? Yeah, I, exactly. <laughs> what the hell? But you know what that allows me to do? It allows me to stay focused. Uh -huh. It allows me to handle what I need to handle, personal and business. And it doesn't. It doesn't allow the noise to come in. Mm. Uh -huh. You feel me? And that's the way I've always been around the game. Because, mind you, I, I came up in Miami. Everybody basically came up. Uh -huh. So you had Luke, who opened the doors for Trick, who yeah. opened the door for Trina. Uh -huh. Then you had myself. Then you had Rick Ross. Then you had Flo Rider. And you, you, know, you had this whole movement. You yeah. had Khaled. Uh -huh. who, Luke Ooh. broke Khaled. Uh -huh. You know? Luke broke everybody, bottom yeah. line. Anybody that tell you Luke ain't the king of Miami, they don't know what they're talking about at the end of the day. That's why Luke is the king, I'm Mr. 305, Ross is the boss, and Trick is the mayor, bottom line. And Flo Rider, Mr. International. Mr. International, <laughs> coming from Mr. Worldwide. Yeah! All right, Mr. Pitbulls here. That, that makes sense. I remember when you made the Welcome to Dade County joint. The yeah. Welcome to Miami, yeah. I mean, excuse me, Welcome to Miami joint. Same thing, same, same thing. thing. Yeah. Um, and I remember when Wayne... Um, you, you made the Oh, song. no, you're right. Yeah, that's that's my to, bad. I made Welcome to Dave, Dave County because of the whole yeah, the yeah, thing yeah, with yeah, Lil yeah, Wayne. Yeah, that's yeah. the one I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and I wonder why did Pitbull do that? But it was, you know, I remember Wayne made a comment, you know, because of whatever happened. He got thrown out of a heat game or something. But why? what, what was that about for you? Now, nah, for me, it's real simple. And mind you, I got nothing but love for everybody because yeah. me personally, I never beef with rappers. I, I beef with companies. Though. Yeah. Okay. You know, uh, for me personally, Damn, said, wait, hold on. That was a stunt Ooh. moment right there. Hold yeah, yeah. on. I don't beat you. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's real. I mean, it's just real talk. I'm, yeah. I'm like, why are we going to be crabs in a bucket? Yeah. I don't got time for that. But these companies that make us think like they've given us these amazing opportunities. Mm -hmm. But yet, in, if you want to talk about slave or enslaved, that's exactly what you do. You got to fight to get paid. You got to fight, to, which is great. I'm all about a university at the mm -hmm. end of the day in life. So in 2009 or 2008, when I fought TVT Records, yeah. they went bankrupt, but I got my freedom back. Okay. So I saved my money, right, mm -hmm. to be able to lawyer up and take Miami lawyers, come to New York and beat them mm -hmm. at their own game. Yeah. Because I got a chance to study what they did. So that's why I don't really go at rappers or things like that. Little Wayne was real simple. Little Wayne is incredibly talented. Yeah. Okay. Um, amazing at what he does. No, let's just say. But when you come to Miami, all right, a city that has fought for everything that they do, when they were always looked at as some booty shakers, or they always looked at like, man, they Bama, or they this, or they that. Mm -hmm. And then you come down here and you enjoy everything, the fruits of our labor, which is you going to these clubs, you're doing everything you do, which is giving you everything you're rapping about. Because I'm mm -hmm. listening to what you're rapping about. I, I'm listening to who you're hanging with and banging with. And I know who you're hanging and banging with because, believe me, you <laughs> mm -hmm. been there, done that. And I know what those guys are made of. And I know why you're with them. I'm going, man, partner, but why Why would you disrespect the crib? That's all. That's it. Yeah. Other than that. But notice, I ain't go at him in no way. Or and anything I stated was facts. Mm -hmm. And what I say in the hook is the truth. I ain't grew up with I grew up with no daddy. Yeah. I, I mm -hmm. ain't have a daddy, much less in life, much less to bring me up in the game. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So things that I spoke about, like we already know who really eat, which is. Slim and baby. We know who eat. At the end. And look, it came, to, it came to life. Yeah, yeah. So now, that's, I mean, that's what I was speaking about on that record. That was for, yeah. the, for the simple fact of disrespecting the crib. Not mm -hmm. me, nothing yeah. like that. But damn, dog, Miami is like my, I love Miami. You, I see you love Miami. I love Miami. Man. I'm a 305 hey. Dade County, born and raised. And therefore, everything that we've been through in the game, it's like, damn, dog. Even, I'll tell you what, look at UM right now. Yeah. That's the story of our lives. We got a chip on our shoulders. We fight for everything that we got. UM lost one game to Pitt right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ironically, mm -hmm. to Pitt. Uh, <laughs> and now they're number seven. They were number two. They yeah. could be undefeated. They won't be number one because mm -hmm. they always look the Miami boys like that. Mm -hmm. That's just on that example. I, I would say an example on that level. Now. Yeah, I get that. You feel I what I'm saying? That. Yeah. So that's basically where that comes from. But hey, God did bless. Did y'all resolve it? Don't be, did y'all talk since? Have y'all spoken since? Nah, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay. no man, I, I don't be out, dog. Okay. I'm under the radar. I'm, man, look, my goals in life, I, I've been stating them since 09 when we, when we won that TVT record, yeah. uh, that TVT case. 09 Freedom. 10 Invasion. 11 Build the Empire. 12 Grow Wealth. 13, put the puzzle together. 14, buckle up. 15, make history. 16, disruption. 17, gingerbread man plan. Find me if you can. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 18. Yeah. 18, off the grid. 
19, Generational Wealth, 2020, Clear Vision. That's when everybody will see it. They go, oh, man. That's what Chico's been doing. Yes. Under the radar. Because if everybody know what you're doing, they don't allow you to build. You know what I'm saying? Damn, get in there. Right. There's over, <laughs> so much game happening. I was going to go to a break, but let's keep talking. Yes. Um, you love, mind you, I don't get deep like this on any. I mean, this, this, this is, this well, what we're doing right now is yeah. it's like you, you're digging in the crates at this point. That's, what, that's you know? exactly what it is. Yeah. And... Um, when we talked the first time, what I liked is that, you know, not that you're a politician, but you're, <laughs> you're politically minded in the sense that you think about your community, especially yes, uh, Cuban folks, especially those who are in Cuba. What are your thoughts on, you know, uh, the, the Obama administration um, relieved the travel ban to Cuba. This administration has reinstated the travel mm. ban to Cuba. What are your thoughts on that? Look, man, it's bottom line is this. Politics, I call it politics. Okay. OK, um, does every politician want me in their corner? Does every president want me in their corner? Absolutely. Because you're speaking to a culture that's growing in a way that you can't stop it. Mm -hmm. Not only that, because bottom line, money talk, bullshit, walk. Right. Mm -hmm. And the buying power that that culture has is immense. Mm -hmm. uh, as a loyal consumer, it's immense. Generation in, generation out. It's not a fickle consumer. Therefore, that's why they try to tap in to the community, to the culture. Me personally, I will not let them exploit, dilute or saturate what. It's been built and what we have fought for mm -hmm. um, to, to be able to enjoy freedom. Because freedom ain't free, partner, at yeah. the end of the day. Yeah. I mean, let's just let's call it spade a spade. And to me, what's going on right now, what Obama tried to do uh, was moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm. What we see going on right now is moving in all kinds of wrong directions. I mean, you got to be blind not to, to see what's going on right now. And like I said before, I'd rather build schools than build walls. Mm -hmm. You get me? I'd rather... And, and, and what's crazy is... What I see happening is everything that my grandmother spoke to me about uh, with Castro in Cuba. Mm -hmm. What I see happening is what every culture that came from another country just to look for freedom, liberty, to be able to control their own destiny, to create opportunities, dog. Mm -hmm. It's happening right now. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, my grandmother shot me one the other day and I said, wow, abuela. Wow. She said, Papo, lo que está pasando es comunismo organizado. She said, Papo is like saying, buddy, you know, like yeah. what's happening is organized communism mm. organized communism. communism i was like whoa wow well mind you she was the one of the first four revolutionary women with castro in the mountains mm -hmm. first four women imagine what she's seen now you got to put castro in the perspective now okay don't get me wrong dog. i ain't a fan of him but you got to respect to a certain extent right mm -hmm. genius for all the wrong reasons huh. but you're talking about somebody that's 90 miles away from the united states of america most powerful country in the world okay and died by natural causes. Yeah. This is someone that created the the Russian missile crisis. Mm -hmm. Had almost nuclear war going at the United States of America. Bin Laden? Gone. Mm -hmm. Saddam Hussein? Gone. Gaddafi? Gone. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could go down the pipeline. Gone, 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 gone. Fidel died naturally. So it goes to show you mentally what kind of man that was. And that's who my grandmother used to hang and bang with. So therefore, she gave me that. Mm. Mm. So her giving me that is what allowed me to look at the game from a different perspective and go, well, why, why they do that? Let's go do this. Let's go do things like build schools. Yeah. If people only knew what kind of investment, you know what? I'll tell you what. There's people that invest more in chains than they do in schools. Mm, speak on that. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk about okay. it. Oh man, I just, you know, I just dropped a quarter mil on this chain. Dog, you could have dropped a quarter mil on that block. Come on. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and help these kids because at the end of the day, when you mold these kids, and mind you, these kids, I see them. And I don't even got to speak to them. In their eyes, I already know their story. Yeah. Like, I, I, I can see what you're going through. I can kind of see what you're going through, whether it's someone in prison, whether it's someone selling dope, whether it's someone that got murdered, whether it's sexual abuse, whether it's rape, whether you name it. You yeah. just see it in their eyes. But when you give them a place that they feel secure, now you're taking a mind that no one gave an opportunity to, to be able to go and take on the world. Partner. I mean, what better investment than that? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. But my grandmother gave me that. My aunt gave me that. My mom gave me that. I would say a woman made me a man at the end of the day, mm -hmm. though. So due to what she went through, they went through, is what allowed me to just, I go back, have a different perspective on the game. Why yeah. be for rappers, dog? Let's go at these companies. You know, let's go. i give you another example while we're here. Yeah, let's you know, do it. Man. You, you, deep, right? We get it. And, 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 and mind yes. you, thank you. And it's an honor to be here once again. Yes, mm -hmm. honor to have you. Yeah, appreciate it. But I mean, let's even talk about this whole social media shit. Okay. Let's talk about it, dog. It's right there in front of your face. Everybody losing their, or everybody giving up their privacy, giving up their life for follows, followers and likes. Mm. I yeah. never wanted to be around the followers. Yeah. I want to be around leaders and people that make a difference. Yeah. Now, if social media said that, all right, more leaders, 
More people make a difference. I might sign up for that shit. I don't even know how to get on Facebook, Twitter, Clitter, Chitter, Clatter, whatever fuck it is right now. <laughs> <laughs> and why? Why do I tell you this? Because, don't get me wrong, the platform is great if you use it for the right things. Yeah. All right? If you access it for the right things. But that's your new dope, partner. Yeah. That's your new coke. That's your new crack. That's your new hair on. That's that new boy right there, right in front of you, right? And the crazy thing is being in the music game, what kills me about this is I got 10 billion views aggregated on YouTube. Mm -hmm. 10 billion views, dog. Each video, 250 million. If I had a dollar for each view, I'd be $10 billion deep in the game right That's now. That's real right But there. I'm not. Yeah. So therefore, so why? So YouTube can make all the money. Instagram can make all the money. Twitter can make all the money. All these boys making all this bread on shit that's smoky mirrors. Yeah. And I'm like, we drive all the traffic for y'all. So this is the music game all over again. Like what labels did to us. And oh, mind you, here's the biggest thing, Sway. Okay. Talk I gotta about it. I got to get a fire. I got to get a video. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> Pitbull will be motherfucking independent, 150 fucking thousand percent 2018. Wow. Play with it. There it is, yeah. ladies yes, and gentlemen. <laughs> There it is. Now that's something to celebrate. That's something. He's already started. 17 years in the game. Won't be independent. 150%. Watch out. He got his own channel here, Pitbull Globalization, Sirius XM, Channel 13. He's a part of this family. Man, I appreciate it. No, I got to go to the phone line real quick. Oh, shit, my bad. J I'm talking to you. No, no, no. Oh. JB in Connecticut. Go ahead. What you want to say? Real quick, JB. Hey, yo, what it is, what it is, Pitbull Globalization. Yeah, what it is, what it is, what it is, what it is, what it is. Dímelo, que vuelta. <laughs> what it is, hey, I just want to thank you, Pitbull, for uh, I saw that you send your own plane to um to Puerto Rico to help oh, the people out there, man. I'm Puerto Rican, 100. percent I was born out there, and I, you know, what I mean, I can, I, I, I respect you all the way. Represent for the Puerto Rican world. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I really appreciate that. That means the world to me. And, and bottom line, thank God we could do it, man. And uh, it, it, it was nothing genius that we had going on. I just said, hey, load up the plane with supplies and whoever we can get off the island, get them off. And we was taking them out of there. I mean, we had to send about 15 planes down there to do what we were doing before the president got down there. Mm -hmm. And I, like I said, I didn't do it for press or nothing like that. That happened to slip out because one of the uh, congresswomen in Puerto Rico happened to run into a cancer patient in the island mm -hmm. um, at the airport yeah. while she was getting on a plane. And that was just my way of, of, of helping out because bottom line, folks, is man, I, it, it's, it's so much bigger than racism or racist or this that color no man look black white pink purple orange latin alien whatever whatever you, you might be the box that says other yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. got to think about the human race man we all bleed the same blood we all breathe the same air we all put our pants on one leg at a time dog so therefore any chance that we can help that's how we reach out. So to para todo el mundo en Puerto Rico, para adelante, para arriba. And hey, well, don't kill you, only make you stronger. Let's show the world how y'all going to rebuild that bad boy. And Thank you know, I'm, I'm going to be right there next to y'all. JB, thanks for your call. You a citizen. Sway in the morning, homie. Pitt, I know you got to cut out, but uh, I want to remind people, the, his greatest hits album is out today. <laughs> uh, it's a new single on the album, too, uh, hey. called Jungle. which features my cousin is on that he track. He There you go. Thank you. Even Pitt know he's my cousin. <laughs> uh, and uh, Ab Abraham, or how you? Uh, Abraham, Abraham Mateo. Or, yes. Abraham Mateo's on the track. And mm -hmm. I want to give a big congratulations to Stereotypes because they just got nominated for uh, a Grammy. And they're the ones that did the Bruno Mars 24 mm -hmm. and also did uh, That's What I Like. So I'm, I'm, I'm very blessed and honored to be able to work with them mm -hmm. because, you know, it's, it's always great in the game when you're able to work with new blood and, and it gets you going again, yeah, you know. Yeah, 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 and yeah, especially yeah. being independent in 2018 and 2018, I should say, it's... Um, I'm excited, dog. Yeah. I'm excited, bottom line. You reinvented, reinvented yourself constantly, man, and you, you've been hitting out the park ever since. Yeah, and I always, always tell people, it's like, yeah, Pitbull is dope, but he just made club records. Okay, that's smart, right? And that's part of his success, but he's a spitter. I mean, you know, that's basically how I got in the game, right? Yeah. That's how I got in the game, And um, bottom and, line. And you know what they say? Well, prove it, Sway. Oh. And I say, I can't prove it. And he ain't got nothing to prove. Nah, but I'll tell you one thing, though. You want me to spit some? I got this verse. Okay, there we go. We got a bucket. We got to throw a bit on you. Hey! Nah, I got this verse that I, that I rap to folks in, in, uh, in the shows and also at these speaking engagements, okay. which is basically my, my life, right? One of them is, it happened here in New York. I was watching these kids break dancing in Central Park, mm -hmm. and then I seen the cops come and rush them away. I'm going, damn, dog. If you only knew, they probably getting out of Hell's Kitchen, trying to make a little bit of money and doing something. Uh, productive yeah. with their time, right? Yeah. And then they come and take them away. Kids were doing nothing but dancing. I remember my brothers used to break dance. So I was looking at them through how blessed, how blessed from a hotel room looking at Central Park mm -hmm. right across the street. I would never thought, right? So I said, um, 
Looking at Central Park through my hotel room, thinking about all the crazy things we used to do for the fame, for the power, for the fortune. Duck death, duck prison, I'm fortunate. It was all a dream, now I just wake up and live it, thinking that the sky was the limit. <laughs> then I figured out this footprint's on the moon, now I'm like, get out the way, bitch, move. Mm. You know, Papa, I'm live. Fuck the other side, okay? And for me, when, when you put those, those words together, it was basically motivated from those kids down there just trying to make a living, trying yeah. to get out of what they got going on, right? Yeah, yeah. So it came to this other verse. I'm now I'm, I'm in one of my favorite spots, which is Key Largo. Okay. And I'm saying, looking in my backyard and all I see is the ocean. Not bad for a kid that grew up with roaches, drama, chaos, and different cultures. That's what allows me to see through these vultures. First we shine the shoes, then we own the shoe shops. First we make the sandwiches, then we own the restaurants. First we clean the houses, then we own every house on the block. Not bad for some immigrants, huh? Uh -huh. You know? Yeah, and yeah. now that's where rap is going for me. Uh -huh. That's what I want to do for folks. Like, look, listen, partner, been there, done that. And what you do, it's, all, it's almost like when you see somebody that think they slick, yeah. you're like, damn, no. <laughs> yeah, you only knew, right? That's... For me, what I'm trying to do with everything we got going on. Mm -hmm. So, yes, is there a lot of things that I'm involved with? Yes. Absolutely. Like yes. you're saying, hey, do you fly this or do you fly that? But there's a lot of things that we got, but we use them only to motivate people and invest in everything that we got going on. And that's the only way, folks, as a community, as a culture, as bottom line humans, yeah. we're going to grow, dog. Yeah. And, and that's what people got to get together, especially, especially in the neighborhood, yeah. especially in the neighborhood, and especially with what they're trying to do right now. Mm -hmm. So other than that, I'm, I'm going to leave it right there. Pitbull, man. You know, and I, and, I, and I came back from DR last time, and um, and, and, and I, I told the story of how, yeah. you know, I, 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 I was, where was I? I was in um, uh, Casa Campo. Yeah, yes. How you say? Casa de Campos. He's always teaching me Spanish, and yeah, yeah. I, I'll butcher it. But you gotta, if it's Dominican, you gotta go. You gotta put a, a dique in front. Dique, Casa de Campo. Casa de Campo. Dique, dique, dique. Que lo que es manito para todos los dominicanos allá afuera, ya tú sabes. And I was walking on the island. Dominican. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I was walking on the island, and and I said, and I told uh, Cece who I was with, and her family, uh, uh, my lady, her family. Somebody had a wedding there. Hey, we got to stop by Pitt's restaurant. I want to treat y'all to a meal. And I, we were walking the island, and, and I said, there it is. And we went and sat down, and we're sitting there, and it's a really, and I know you don't brag, but it's a really beautiful spot. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it's it. It's really nice. Okay. And we're sitting there, and I'm like, damn, I felt underdressed. <laughs> and uh, we ordered food, and the food was, you know, exquisite. Thank you. you know, the food was ridiculous. <laughs> and, and I'm seeing people look at me. And I'm also seeing some beautiful ass women. I bet. Up, oh my gosh. <laughs> and, then, and, and then after we got through eating, we ate everything. And after we got through eating, the um the waiter said, It's on the house, courtesy of Mr. Pitbull. No, man. And I said, What? Honor. How? I said that and then, you know, the people I was looking were like, You know Pitbull? I said, Well, I know, yeah, I told you I know him. But I was thinking, they're lying, man. Pitbull didn't do this, you know. And then Mike was there. Yes, and we got to give a big shout out to Michael Calderon because he's the one that had the vision for everything we do in Casa de Campo. Really? Yeah, man. And, and th because what better to live your dream of wanting to go back to the country of what your family always speaks to you about, which yeah. for me is Cuba. Mm -hmm. He's from Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. So for me to be able to live my dream through him and be like, well, we, let's go back to where you're from and let's build down there. Yeah. That's what, basically what we've done. And you got to go to the next spot down what? there, which is in the neighborhood. Okay. Because I told him, I'm, I'm cool with Casa Campo in the whole nine. What I'm just not cool with is when people introduce themselves by how much money they got. Yeah. Oh, I'm such and such that mm -hmm. owns this. I said, partner, I don't give a fuck. Be yeah. honest with you. Yeah. You know, you know how to tell a good story, dance, have fun i don't know you know and i said <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. give a fuck how much money you got <laughs> yeah they paying your money bills shit, yeah. To be honest with you. yeah but god bless to be able to be there and that's the reason why we got in casa campo the way mm -hmm. we did is to do business with major families and learn from them no uh and i said i said mike we gotta we gotta build some in, in the neighborhood though, yeah. you know because i know that these folks won't go to the neighborhood uh -huh. <laughs> no, no, so we no. got a spot in la romana uh -huh. of uh, it's called La Grasa. Uh -huh. You got to go down there. On the water, but it's all neighborhood. Everybody having fun. Everybody enjoying and nobody talking about money. Not at all, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. You guys treated. They said pit call. Said uh, give them the call for free. Man. It's I a appreciate true honor. you. And it's always there for you. Okay. Whenever the restaurant, not only that, whenever you want to take the family down there and enjoy, it's my word on the air. You know what it is and what it ain't. 
It's yours, man. Enjoy. Pitbull, love right. you, brother. Keep Same up the here. good work. Greatest Hits album Thank out today. Thank you so much. Make sure you pick it up. He's about to be on Jenny McCarthy Live, so if you want to hear more from Pitbull, check her out. There you go. One time for Jenny, but I want to tell everybody out there, Listen to me. Without y'all, there's no pit bull. I always say it. It's a true blessing. Thank you to all the fans out there. It's 17 years in the game. Wow. It's the greatest hits album. Who would have ever thought that we'd be having this conversation right now? So to everybody, really appreciate it. You're the reason that I'm able to do what I'm doing. And when I say I, I mean we, I mean us, I mean ours. Because no way I do this without a team. So with that, God bless. Happy holidays. Y pa'lante pa arriba siempre. Pa'lante pa arriba means forward and up. Forward. Pit bull, ladies and gentlemen. We got movie junkies up next. Sway in the morning.